guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new vlog. This vlog is going to be a little different than what I usually do. It's been a while. I don't think I've ever done a reading vlog. I have done a reading vlog, but not like a super like in-depth, like, I don't want to make this like all about reading. So I'm still more of like a lifestyle, just kind of vlog, whatever, but I need to figure out something that I want to do with this channel because I feel like it's all over the place because I'm a mom, I'm a makeup artist, I read books, I do all these different things. I even have a gaming channel because I play The Sims 4. Like my personality is just like, that sounded very, very bad actually. That sounded a little conceited. What I'm trying to get at is I don't, it's the same with my TikTok. Like I don't know what my TikTok is because I don't post about just one thing. I post about makeup, I post about lifestyle i post about being a mom i post about you know books i post them like i don't have a single set thing and i feel like to me that's annoying because i don't know what one thing i want to post about and like you know i don't know anyways i just want to give you guys a book update and do like a little reading vlog and like talk about some books if you're interested in it cool if you're not i'm sorry it is what it is. Is the lighting gonna be better over here? It might be better over here. Yeah, lighting is definitely better over here. A little update. I have only finished one book this year and that was Den of Vipers. And I honestly, I didn't really love it, to be honest. I gave it a three stars on Goodreads, but it was not plot heavy, to be honest. It was very, just like, very kinky, smutty sex, which if you're into, cool but that's not what I was going into like I thought I was going into a fantasy mind you I I know I knew nothing about this book I thought it was a fantasy book because it's Den of Vipers it didn't really give any context and I didn't really want to know anything else about it going into it so when I got into it I was like oh <laughs> um okay but um I still read it. I still finished it. It was enough to keep me entertained, but not enough to get a five star. That's the only book I've read this year and I'm almost done with February or we're almost done with February. I've been in a reading slump. I started Throne of Glass, haven't finished it because I'm just not in the mood, I guess, for that type of book because it's not, it doesn't have any romance. I mean, it does, but it's not heavy romance based. It's more like action based and everything. I went back to, um, my good old trusty Cassandra Clare. Honestly, I'm so happy about this because Cassandra Clare is the author that got me back into reading in the first place. I hated reading as a kid because school obviously forced you to read and they didn't really let you read books that were interesting. <laughs> the highest or like the best fantasy books we got were Harry Potter and I just wasn't a fan of the Harry Potter books. I haven't tried to read them now. I probably would enjoy them. Granted, it is a little bit younger. I feel like I could enjoy it for what it is because I do love Harry Potter. I just, Cassandra Clare is one of my favorite authors. I read The Mortal Instruments within like three months. There's like six or seven books. I absolutely love and adore those books. So when she continued to bring things out, I read it. I read Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, um, which takes place after The Mortal Instruments books. Then she released, in between The Mortal Instruments, she released uh, The Infernal Devices. I read those. Um, she released the Dark Artifices series. I read the first two. I haven't read the third one yet. So I probably should have read the third one before I started reading this, but it's fine. Um, I'll go back to it after I finish either this one or the entire trilogy, but Chain of Thorns literally just came out, which is the third installment of this trilogy. Uh, it just came out January 31st and I already bought it. I really want to read it and I was in the mood to read a Cassie Clare book and so I picked it up and now I can't put it down because I am like so in love with these characters in this book. I absolutely love The Infernal Devices. It was beautifully written, so good. Love Little Jim and Tessa and the fact that this is a continuation of their story. I cannot put it down. It's so good already. I'm only on chapter five which is 118 pages and it's already that good. Like I have tabs like already at the beginning of the book. So I am a mom and I am currently pregnant. So it is a little bit harder for me to have time to read. So it's gonna be like a slow reading journey, but that's why I kind of wanted to do a reading vlog only of the book. I haven't posted a vlog in like 
months. I haven't posted since December. So happy new year. Oh, a uh, pregnancy update. I am currently 20 weeks pregnant. This is my 20 week bump. I don't know if we told you guys what we're having a girl. I'm not entirely sure. Cause we found out on Christmas Eve. So I haven't even announced to you guys yet that we're having a girl. I don't think. Oops. I kind of just read whenever I get the time, whenever Rinley is chill, either watching Miss Rachel or Mark Flyer or playing with her toys, um, or when she takes a nap, I just get time to read. I especially get time to read at night after Colton gets home because we kind of just do our own thing, which I think tonight we're planning on finishing Big Bang Theory. So, well, season 11 and then starting season 12. Which I have been obsessed with this show. I did not think I was ever going to like this show. I'm loving it. It's so good. Absolutely love this show. But anyways. That's my update. So. <laughs> don't mind my appearance okay sorry did not want to get ready today but I'm gonna do a little ipsy unboxing <laughs> this is my February box or bag and self-love is the best love this is the bag the first thing is my refreshments razor heads which love their razors by the way something major is coming Epic news is coming. We've got something epic in the works and can't wait to tell you about it. So the first thing that I see is this Yinsa Skin on Skin BC Foundation. It is a BB and CC full coverage SPF 40 sunscreen foundation. I'm actually really excited because I have yet to find a foundation that I love. This almost looks like it's gonna not be my color. So I'm actually, ooh, this is nice. Like, I hope this is good because if it is, that will be very good. Uh, the next thing we have is this cooling overnight retinol mask. This is by Phila. My skin, you guys, has been so dry especially with like Texas weather not being able to make up its mind. My skin is awful right now on top of pregnancy. I am actually kind of excited. It's an under eye serum stick. Yeah, this is an under eye serum stick. Cute. Okay, I might try this tonight and see if I like it. That'll be cool. I'm trying to get more into like my self care because now being pregnant and like obviously having a baby to take care of it's hard to make time for yourself definitely one of the things that i'm struggling with next 
We have a volumizing mascara. This is by Dime. I am actually excited because I need to go through my mascaras and get rid of my old and expired ones. Ooh, oh, she's got an interesting wand and that definitely smells like mascara, oh my God. So this is by Pear Nova. This is a Lunar Lip Balm in the color Infinity. I've never really used like a colored lip balm before. Ooh, she's cute. It has like the little glitter in the middle. I might like her. I don't know. I've never used something like this before. So lots of interesting makeup to try. And then the last thing is an eyeshadow palette. Not that I needed another one. This is by Beauty Bakery. I've actually heard a lot about this brand. This is their Do It For The Gram eyeshadow palette. I did look at the colors on Ipsy when I was looking at the palette. I don't know if it's necessarily gonna be a palette for me because there's really not, oh my God, I can't even get it out of the box. There's not really any like a bunch of neutral tones. Oh, oh, I might be lying. Okay, this is the palette. So it has neutral tones. It's just not a bunch of, sorry, my eye itches. A bunch of neutral tones that I would use. Okay, it doesn't have a smell. I don't know why I was expecting a scent. The colors are very pretty though, so I will definitely keep this. That is all that I got in my Ipsy bag. I have the monthly subscription of $35, so if you're interested, do sign up. I don't know how to do all like the codes and everything, but you don't necessarily have to sign up under me. I just love Ipsy so much. I've been subscribed with them for years. I started out with their sample bag and then I moved my way up to their glam bag. I would do their biggest box, but you get it every three months instead of every month. And I like getting new products every month. So, but yeah, that's, that's all for that unboxing. So I just really quickly want to give my thoughts and opinions on what I think so far and my predictions on what's about to happen. So if you don't want spoilers, I will put a timestamp of where to skip to so that way you don't get spoiled if you haven't read Chain of Gold and plan to. Where I'm at so far, James is trying to shift into the demon realm on purpose for the first time because he thinks that there's some sort of coincidence about him shifting so much recently. At first he thought it was just like his emotions were getting to him and all of that, but then like Barbara was involved and like now people are hurt, shadow hunters are like basically dying. I think that there's a coincidence as well, but not one that has been outright said and spoken. If I'm not mistaken, I think Tatiana Blackthorn ends up being like in the Dark Artifices series, if I'm not mistaking, because she did some bad shit in the past. And I'm thinking this is it. I think Tatiana has brought those demons. I think Tatiana and Grace are both bringing some dark things and they're conjuring up demons. And I think that they have something to do with this. If they aren't physically doing it themselves, I think it's because of them that this is happening. Everything was perfectly fine <clears throat> before they showed up. And they're being kind of sketchy. Like Tatiana is being kind of sketchy and Grace is a little bit too. And like, why did Christopher have to drop her off at like the gate? Why couldn't he take her up to the house? Like, what is it? Like they're being very secretive, how I feel about Grace. I don't really like her to be honest. I like Cordelia more. I'm gonna keep reading and see what happens because I cannot put this book down. I just wanna keep reading, so yeah. So it is now four o'clock in the afternoon. My mother-in-law came and picked Rinley up at about two o'clock, but I literally got lost in TikTok for a while. Now I'm gonna finally sit in my bed, all cozied up and read. I'm at 185. We are getting through this book, 
kind of quicker quicker than I was expecting I'd get through this book. At some point tonight I kind of want to take a break so that way I'm not like burning myself out. So far I am like I, c I don't want to put this book down but I keep taking breaks so that way I don't burn myself out. I can't get over how good this book is and I want to watch people's reading vlogs because that's what I that's one of the reasons why I wanted to read it is because I wanted to see everybody's reaction but they're all spoiler filled so I haven't watched anything on it sadly but that's why I'm also that's like my motivation to get it done so that way I can watch their reading vlogs but I have some dark academia ambiances going on in here and now I'm just gonna sit and read <laughs> so yay <laughs> I don't like this. This seems like a trap. This, this, this smells like trap to me. I don't, I don't wanna. <laughs> God, Anna Lightwood is a savage. <laughs> oh no. Why Malcolm Fate of all people? No. Malcolm Fate is bad! No! Hi, me again, next day. I just went and had lunch with my husband and a friend of his. We went and ate lunch and then I went and got a copy. So, this is supposed to be their butterscotch caramel latte. And I don't taste it either, so. It's 1.42 in the afternoon and I think I'm gonna sit down and read a little bit. I'm in a reading mood right now, so. And it's actually kind of cold outside today. It's sunny, but it's kind of cold and it's windy. I wanna just sit inside and relax. Like I have the heaters on and everything cause it's that cold. Hang on a second. Also don't mind my eye. I don't know what is going on here. I, I don't know, but what is going on with Alistair and Thomas? What's happening here? They're in Paris together. Also, what is going on with my eye? What is happening? He just explained where he wanted to get a tattoo and Alistair just like, am I sensing a romance? Am I, am I sensing something? Oh. <laughs> They're holding hands. <gasps> They're holding hands. <gasps> That's what it is. That's what it is. That's why Alistair seems so freaking uptight all the time. <gasps> I'm loving it. <laughs> okay, so now we are switching to James currently. And this is the moment where I think he's about to go meet up with Grace. And I'm scared. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. She's trying to manipulate him into like having a mundane marriage and not be legit. And she's like, we must be married and Gretna. And if need be, we will let our marks be stripped. Marks stripped was the most severe punishment a shadow hunter could endure. It meant exile and becoming a mundane. Girl does not sit right with me like grace is being very sketchy he wouldn't be able to see his parents he wouldn't be able to see his sister he couldn't see cordelia he couldn't see his friends he couldn't be able to see anybody he'd be completely exiled and it'd be just him and grace and i think it has something to do with this bracelet the the thing that is etched on the bracelet means loyal to loyal to something i don't remember what exactly what it says it's like a bond so my guess is because he's wearing the bracelet, it's bonding him to her. And like, he can't not refuse her because he was saying how, it's been recently mostly, 
how like when he thinks about her and he thinks about not being with her like it physically hurts like his whole body feels like it's on fire like it feels like he wants to die because he's not with her so i think it has something to do with this bracelet i do not trust her at all i don't know if she knows about the powers of the bracelet and like the bonding of the bracelet i don't know if she knows but i think she knows hello so it's another day and i just door dashed mcdonald's for breakfast I'm hungry and all we have to eat for breakfast is like cereal or eggs and I really don't feel like cooking so I also ordered me an iced caramel macchiato because oddly enough my McDonald's seems to make them really really good yep that is extra caramel got a hash brown and like a cinnamon roll mm -hmm. I'm kind of taking a break from reading for a little bit because I'm like already almost at 300 pages actually i have 307 pages left just playing the sims here for a little bit and then i'll probably jump back into reading here pretty soon so it is one o'clock in the afternoon now and i have the urge to reorganize my bookshelves because i want to this is like i, I can't tell you how many times it's been that i've reorganized these shelves i just i don't love my setup again like i it's cluttered it's crowded i don't like having both of these tables in here like i'll show you guys what it looks like i need better organization i need better storage i need i don't know what i need to be <laughs> that's what we're gonna do today i haven't read any yet but i probably will later but right now i really want to focus on fixing my shelves so right now this is the shape that my nook is in like it's dirty it's gross. There's stuff everywhere. My Cricut like takes up most of my desk. This takes up most of the space. I have organizers all over here. These shelves just have a whole bunch of crap on them and it honestly stresses me out. I think what I'm wanting to do is move my Cassandra Clear books back onto the very bottom shelf and then put my Sarah J Mass books on the second shelf with like my vampire diaries and stuff. And I love this shelf. I don't think I'm going to move this one and I don't think I'm going to move this one either. I think I'm going to leave those. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, you guys. But yeah, that's the plan. I just want to get this area cleaned up because it is horrendous. I'm just, it's stressing me out, so. But I have no idea where to start is the issue. <laughs> why it's important to clean your bookshelves. I never finished this um, vlog. I have not finished Chain of Gold yet, but it was just supposed to be a reading, reading vlog. It wasn't meant for me to really like finish it, but so far it's really good. I'm 275 pages in. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and um, comment what your favorite book is because I'm always on the hunt for new books to read or different types of books to read. So. Let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.